We now learn how to calculate the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. And we're going to learn about this first formula, which is Sn, the sum of the first n terms, equals to n over 2 times u1 plus un, where n is the generic term of the arithmetic sequence. Now let's go right ahead and see how this formula works. Let's say we're given the arithmetic sequence whose first few terms are 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, and so on. And we're asked to calculate the sum of the first six terms. Well, the first six terms, of course, we could just add. Indeed, we have them right in front of us. The sum of the first six terms is 3 plus 7 plus 11 plus 15 plus 19 plus 23. And sure, we could do that. But what if we were asked to calculate the sum of the first 100 terms or the first 1,000 terms? Then this method of just adding one term to the next would quickly become a nuisance. Instead of that, we can use this formula. And I'll illustrate how to use this formula with just six terms for the time being. This formula tells us that the sum of the first six terms is S6 equals to 6 over 2 times, in parentheses, U1 plus U6, where U1 is the first term of the sequence, and U6 would be the sixth term, which in this case would be 23. In other words, to calculate the sum of the first six terms, all we need to do is to replace every n we see inside this formula for the sum by 6. Now let's see what this is equal to. We have u1, which is simply the first term of the sequence, that would be 3, and we need u6, which is the sixth term, which is 23. That's u6. So replacing those two values in the formula becomes 6 over 2 is 3 times u1, which is 3, plus u6, which is 23. That's equal to 3 times 3 plus 23, which is 26. And finally, the sum of the first six terms equals to 3 times 26, which is 78. Now, if you're not convinced by that, go ahead and add those six terms together, and you'll see it's equal to 78. Now, what this formula is really useful for isn't to calculate the first six terms. Let's say we needed to calculate the first 20 or the first 30. That's when this becomes useful. And let's look at a quick example. Okay, now as a second example, say we're dealing with the same sequence again. That's the one at the top here, 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, and so on. And we're also given the formula for the nth term of this sequence. Indeed, this sequence has formula 3 plus n minus 1 times 4. That's the formula for the nth term. Now, let's say we needed to calculate the sum of the first 20 terms of this sequence. In other words, we want to know what S20 would be. Well, looking at the formula we have here, I've, re I've written it at the top to remind us, all we would need to do is replace every n we see inside this formula by 20. So that would be S20 equals to 20 over 2 times u1, which is the first term, plus u20, which is the 20th term of the formula. Now, we have u1, this value, it's simply 3. But what about u20? We don't have u20 yet, and consequently we need to calculate it. And we calculate it using the formula for the nth term of the sequence. So I'll just do that on the side here in green. U20 would equal to 3 plus 20 minus 1 times 4. That's equal to 3 plus 19 times 4. That's equal to 3 plus 19 times 4, which is 76. Finally, U20 is equal to 79. Now that we know that the 20th term is 79, we can go back to calculating the sum of the first 20 terms. So carrying on here, 20 over 2, well that's 10, times u1, which we've seen 
is 3, so that would be 3, plus u20, which we've just seen, is 79. And that's equal to 10 times 3 plus 79, which is 82. And finally, we can state that s20 equals to 10 times 82, which is 820. So the sum of the first 20 terms of this sequence is equal to 820. Now, quite often we won't be given the formula for the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, and we'll have to find it ourselves. Let's see one last example in which we do that. Say we're given the sequence of numbers negative 2, 3, 8, 13, 18, and so on. And we're asked to calculate the sum of the first 200 terms. Well, remembering that the formula for the sum of the first n terms is Sn equals to n over 2 times u1 plus un, the formula for the first 200 terms would be S200 equals to 200 over 2 times u1 plus u200. And looking at this, well, we can see that we have u1, no problem there, that's negative 2. The issue is, we don't know what u200 is, because the list of terms that we have here doesn't go beyond the sixth term. So we need to figure out what u200 is, and for that we're going to need to use the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Remember, the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is un equals to u1 plus n minus 1 in parentheses times d, where d is the common difference of the sequence. We start therefore by finding d. Looking at our numbers here, we have from negative 2 to 3, from 3 to 8, from 8 to 13, and from 13 to 18. We quickly see we're always adding 5, so d equals to 5. That's the common difference. Going back to our formula for the nth term, we can therefore state that it's un equals to u1, which was negative 2, plus in parentheses n minus 1, times the common difference 5. Now that we have that, we can calculate the 200th term, and we replace n by 200. That's u200 equals to negative 2 plus 200 minus 1 times 5. That's equal to negative 2 plus 199 times 5. And that's equal to negative 2 plus 995. Finally, u200, the 200th term of this sequence, is equal to 993. Now that we have the 200th term, we can go back to calculating the sum of the first 200 terms. So going back here, we can state that this equals to 200 over 2, which is 100, times u1, which was negative 2, plus u200, which we've just seen is 993. That's equal to 100 times 991. And finally, we can state that the sum of the first 200 terms of this sequence is 100 times 991, which is 99,100. And there we go. That's how we can use the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. There's actually a second formula which we'll be learning in a later tutorial. For now though, I really hope that helps. And if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel because that really helps us. See you soon.